I was um, spending my summer in Los Angeles at my at my house with my family and got a phone call from Seth MacFarlane, which is a nice phone call to receive. I had never met him. I met him once, but wasn't friends with him. And he said he was making this movie. It's a Western. It's a comedy. Um, he's missing one key part, and it's the guy who steals his girl and uh, runs the mustachery in town. And would I be interested? And that was kind of a no-brainer. Yes, of course I would be interested. He sent me the script. I read it immediately. Was doubled over with laughter. Legitimately, the script reads so funny. And then when I found out all the other people that were involved, it was like a pinch me moment. I mean, Charlize is magnificent, super cool, super gorgeous, super talented. Seth himself is like a quadruple threat. Sarah Silverman is a friend. She's one of the funniest people I've ever met. Giovanni Ribisi, hilarious. Liam Neeson, also randomly hilarious. And then Amanda Seyfried, who I get to do all of my scenes with. Um, I didn't realize how funny she was until we started working together. So yeah, it was an absolute blast. We were stuck in a tiny little town in New Mexico. We were filming in Santa Fe, which isn't that small, but then you drive during the day to set, which was a real little ghost town that they had built for movies for the last 20 years or so. I think they filmed The Rocketeer in the barn where we did the barn dance trivia. And so, uh, so we were all just kind of hanging out with each other. So I got to actually have nice long conversations with people that I normally wouldn't get to. And everyone's really funny. And yet through funny, everyone's really nice. I was surprised how nice everyone was. You'd think that stand-up comics would be a little more nasty. But do you know Sarah Silverman is super nasty, right? We've all heard about her jokes and seen them and laughed at them, but she's also like one of the nicest, kindest, sweetest people that you'd ever get to meet. So we did some laughing, but a lot more just like hanging out and getting to know each other. Nothing was really off limits, but that being said, the, weird, the structure of the movie was pretty set. And as ridiculous as it was, it was still a period Western that we were doing, so you couldn't really just go crazy and say whatever you wanted because my character Foy was very regal and dismissive of everything. So um, we got to play around a little bit, but no, I, I really was such a fan of the script and what was written already that um, there was not much need for improvisation on my end. I have grown one a couple times before to much less success than the handlebar awesomeness that I got to wear in this movie. <laughs>